Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. How y'all feeling? I hope y'all are doing well. Let's get into your reading. Y'all know take what resonates. Flip it if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. Don't try to force anything to fit that's not your story. Shadow or light message for you, for you today is mythology. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Scorpio. Hmm. So some of you, you're in the dark about something. There's something that's a mystery to you. Some of you may feel a bit delusional right now. or Maybe this is someone around you. This could have something to do with your belief system, like your religion. Um, it could have something to do with a connection, a love connection. Somebody you have a lot of history with. Mm, something's unknown right now. I feel like a lot of you feel like you were tricking yourself into believing something about someone that turned out not to be true. Let's see what that's all about. What is this? I think I'm getting things mixed up here. Okay, let's start with some uh, general messages for you from Spirit. What do you need to know right now that may be connected to this, this confusion? We have Wounded Warrior. Okay, yeah. For some of you, this is emotional. Um, this is emotional or it's mental. You feel like you're at almost a breaking point. This is Sagittarius energy. Could be in relation to a Sagittarius. Some of you just have relationship PTSD. You feel like you're in a fight of your life. You feel like you've survived a lot, but you just want it to be over. And it's almost over. You've endured a lot. And Spirit is saying it's almost over, okay? Just a, just a little ways longer before you overcome this. Fertility. Some of you just had something to do with pregnancy or children. Could involve a Libra, a Taurus, or a Leo. I feel like you need to heal your inner child. Work on healing your inner child is what I'm hearing spirits say. Everything you've been through has been for you to put the focus back on yourself. Go within and fix whatever was broken in childhood. I don't even like to use the word broken because none of us are broken. But you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. This could have something to do with your mother. Something that happened when you were a child, you could be holding on to like a bit of resentment towards your mother. Maybe you felt like she didn't protect you. Maybe you felt like she did not nurture you. She didn't give you what you need because this card can represent mommy issues. Okay. If it's daddy, flip it to daddy. Okay. Let's keep moving. One more card for your general messages. Aquarius. We have leaked information exposed or coming clean. Hmm. Shedding the old. And then it says sensitive information leaks. Capricorn energy. <laughs> well, okay, wait a minute now. You're letting go of something. Okay, somebody could have leaked some information about you. I don't know if this is like something from your phone, something at work, something in a love situation. Um, let's see what your bottom of the deck message is. It says, when is the last time you had a good cry? It's okay to purge from time to time. Yeah, it's time for you to release some things. I feel like you need to forgive yourself. It's what I'm hearing spirits say. Forgive yourself. Forgive your mother. Forgive everybody that you need to forgive. Even this person who has maybe hurt you in love. Because your forgiveness will free you. Okay? You may have to let this person go. Maybe even this leaked information could be some kind of conversation you need to have with maybe your mother or the person who wronged you. Or I wouldn't even say the person who wronged you because I'm, I'm not even in support of that. Sometimes you need to just have that conversation. I believe in having conversations with people and um, spirit. You don't necessarily have to talk to them. You can say your goodbyes to people and, and, and work on that within yourself, okay? But somebody could have exposed some kind of information or someone could be about to come clean about something. That could even be you. Let's look at your money. What's going on with your money? Yeah, let me just take these. We have a uh, reserved parking spot. That's funny because I was getting ready to park in a spot last night in my community. And it said reserved. And I'm like, who, who that is? <laughs> so some of y'all, that this card just means like some kind of promotion. You have some kind of importance at your job. Could be a promotion, could be a raise, could be a whole new job. We have burning the candle at both ends. Overworking, multitasking, juggling, stressed, and burdened. Capricorn and Sagittarius energy says you're taking on too much. Slow down. Okay. I'm not going to take all of these. Put this back. We have FMLA, short or long-term disability. Take time off to care for family. Taking time off to care for your family or to recuperate. Libra energy. Some of you could be on FMLA. You could be out or maybe you're going to need to. 
you may have to take time off. Um, FMLA doesn't have to be um, consecutively taken. It doesn't have to be a situation where it's, uh, you know, linear time. FMLA could just be you need time off here and there to handle some kind of disability for yourself or a loved one, someone in your family. So that's what's going on in your career. I feel a new job. Either recently you got a new job or you're going to. You may be working a lot. It may be hard because you have some kind of um, disability or someone around you does. Let's get love. What's going on in love? We have masquerade ball. Aquarius, that's your own energy. We have reconcile. Some of you are connected to another um, Aquarius or a Scorpio or a Cancer. And fake death. Disguise, concealment, and keeping secrets, hidden truth. You got two cards here about somebody keeping secrets from you. Another Aquarius card. A night of passion, embracing a whole new identity. Somebody is going to try to come and reconcile with you to have sex. It could be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Bottom of the deck, Spirit is telling you to reject it. Don't do it. Firm rejection. Y'all see that? Spirit said, hell no. Firm rejection. So that's what's going on in love for you. I mean, these are very basic messages, right? But that's what's about to happen if it hasn't already happened. Because somebody's wearing a mask. They're acting like they care. They're coming in for a night of passion, embracing a whole new identity. That's The masquerade ball is where you wear a mask to hide your um, your identity. No one knows who you are. Look at this. You can't make it up. The, the high priest is hiding. Somebody wants to keep you a secret, a cancer or Pisces for some of you. The initials B or J could be significant. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you a secret. They want to just have you. Uh, and they're also telling people that they broke up with you or they don't deal with you. But they want to come in for sex. Look at this. Queen of Cups because they know you love them unconditionally. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming out again. A lot of emotions you have for this person. Ten of Cups. Some of you have a family, children or marriage with this person. Pisces energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, Cancer again. Definitely a long-term commitment or a marriage. You have a child with this person. Look at this. Spirit is staying in this. Lead them out in the cold. Reject them. A firm rejection. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Cancer energy. That's what I have for y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and leave me um, a comment. I appreciate you all. Peace.